Welcome to Rio de Janeiro, a city mainly considered as an adult playground thanks to its carnival, samba, and epic nightlife atmosphere, which begs the question, is it worth it to come here with kids? Yeah! <laughs> And the answer is... One million percent. That means one million percent in Portuguese. Vale a pena. Ah, that means worth it. So I thought Spanish was the main language here. But fact, Portuguese is the official language and not many of the locals understand English. And so Portuguese said that aprender Portuguese. Whatever she said. Ora levato. Ah, uh, Nelvin, moving on. Rio, which is tucked dramatically between miles of white sand beaches and the largest urban rainforest in the world, has a children's playground landscape unlike any other place we've ever seen. And when you combine this with the iconic excursion to Sugarloaf Mountain and one of the seven wonders of the world, well, Rio becomes not just worth it, but a must destination with the kids. And in this vlog, we'll be giving you 15 tips to have the best vacation with a family. But before we show you around, let's first give you a quick recap of how we got here. Bye-bye, Colombia! Bye, Archie! Okay, what just happened? We can't fly to Brazil because we just found out we have to get a COVID test. So what are we going to do? Daddy and I have to get a test today. Oh. That was horrible. That touched that, the back of my brain. Uh, a little hiccup, guys, but we have someone to blame, not daddy. Oh, Papo! Whoa, look how tall this is. We're at two. We got our COVID results and we're negative. Let's head out. Let's go! We got a long day today. A one hour flight to Panama. Four hour layover. Where are we going next? Going to Rio de Janeiro. Gate 207. Wow, that's Gate a lot. Gate 207 to the left. Welcome to Brazil. So we are checking in the Sheraton Grand Rio. Jet lag for a couple of days. But now we're re energized, energized. Oh, 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 oh. Pop those hips. Uh -huh. My mama told me to pop those, pop those Now hips. it's time to give you a quick, quick tour of the Sheraton Grand Rio, baby. Let's go. Bob effect, more like energy effect. Uh, uh. Starting off with our favorite, key Club. <laughs> It's time to eat. You've got plenty of choices. They've got a steakhouse, a pizzeria, an Italian restaurant, and they even have homemade pasta here, and a French cuisine. And now it's time to show you the room. This is a one-bedroom spacious corner suite with an oceanfront view of Ipanema Beach from the distance. But what makes this hotel very special is that it's the only hotel in Rio that has its own direct private beach access unlike the rest. And by the way guys, when in Rio, the very first thing that you should do is experience its beach culture. Whether here at the Sheraton, or its world's most famous Copacabana or Ipanema Beach. Just sit back on a beach chair, sip on your favorite drink, and watch the locals do beach every day. No one does beach better. Room tour is done. And now it's time to explore Brazil. You guys, this is Gabby. She's gonna be our tour guide. Yes. Yay. And she's a girl. Yeah. This is like a party bus. Is this for Father's Day? Happy Father's yeah, Day. You. I got this just for you. Thank you. Just kidding. You set this whole thing up. <laughs> 
So it's usually much cheaper to go on a group tour, but this is way better. We have a private driver and a private tour guide and this amazing private like party bus. And also they are more accommodating to what we want to do. So they kind of customize what our day is going to look like. So that's really nice, especially when you have kids. And our first stop in Rio is Christ the Redeemer. So here it is guys, one of the seven wonders of the world. Oh my gosh, it's huge and it's beautiful. Oh, I wonder how long it takes to make this statue. Wow, look at his arms. So the body, it was built right here and the hands and the head, it was made in Paris and France. We ship it back here and then we just put it back in statue. Do you know why this is a seventh one of the world? Okay, not only is it man-made, but it's got 92 feet wide. Okay, so that was Christ the Redeemer. Now to the Celeron Steps. But first, tip number five, a quick stop at the favela, where Fast and Furious 5 was filmed in 2011. My world now. Now to the Celeron steps. So there is this artist named George Celeron who didn't like the way these steps look, so he decided to decorate them. People started finding out and they started sending him titles from all over the world. It became the Celeron steps, such beautiful steps. Also, Snoop Dogg and Pharrell sang You Are Beautiful. You know that song? I just want you to know. Now with Sugarloaf Mountain, we just got tickets. We're gonna go up in a cable car. Fun fact, it's called Sugarloaf Mountain because it resembles a mountain of refined sugar. Melvin, put a picture of refined sugar here. Ding. <laughs> Fun fact, Rio de Janeiro stands for the river of January because it was founded in January but the mistake is this is not really a river, it's a bay. Correct Gabby? Exactly. You're correct. Full of facts. <laughs> Now something unique about Rio is the amount of natural beauty in such a large city like this lagoon. And these parks with the greatest view. It's a park with a little palace. Beautiful garden! What kind of monkey are you? This is the most beautiful garden I've ever seen. But now it's time to do the next thing with Tiago, not Santiago or Diego, but Tiago. We're heading to the Telegraph Rocks, the west part of Rio. Here we're gonna park the car and we should walk for about 45, 60 minutes until we reach the summit. It's a popular destination. The illusion that you're yeah. hanging from a cliff. Ha ha ha. There you go, guys. But actually, you're about three, three feet. <laughs> but we're, we're, we won't show you the three feet off the ground. We'll just show you the illusion. I hope we're almost there. This is such a beautiful hike though. It's shade, the weather is amazing, the light is shining through. We are halfway there, people. Yes, Melvin, that was good. Is, you want to do a knee by that yourself? No, that was good. Obrigada. No. 
And of course, this wouldn't be a complete real trip without this last tip. Visit one of the world's biggest stadiums, Maracanã Stadium. So if you're a soccer fan, this is a must see. There is so much history here. All right guys, fun fact, the stadium hosted the 1950 and 2014 World Cup and they had over 200,000 fans here. Crumple, you are full of facts. I told y'all I was full of facts. Check out this locker room. Wait, I'm not allowed to go in the middle. locker room. with your family. See you at our next destination. Now I'm in a couple. Sing, you are beautiful yeah, to me. So you are beautiful. You know, it's quiet to me. You're my stopped. baby girl. Not to the red part. I don't know the red part. <laughs>